Okay, so we have got something pretty cool and I've actually been using these for the past few days. I put them back in the box just so that it's special for you. Uh, and this is by a company called Ampere. Uh, this is their Dusk uh, Smart Sunglasses. Now they make a Dusk and a Dusk Light. Now what's cool about these is that the Dusk is uh, a pair of sunglasses that you can control the tint. Yeah, which is uh, actually kind of cool. And the Dusk also has a built in, uh, like almost like, they have built in audio, so you can hear stuff, right? Make phone calls, do all that kind of stuff. The Dusk Light is only the tinting. But if you just need sunglasses and you already have a pair of earbuds that you love already, then the Dusk Light may be the, the way to go. But we're gonna take a look at the Dusk Electrochromic, Electrochromic Smart Sunglasses. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, this is the box, Dusk Ampere. Of course, if you look back here, you're like, blocks 100% of UVA and UVB rays, polarized lenses, magnetic, magnetic, pogo pin charging, microphone, voice assistant enabled, IPX4, so don't, don't go swimming with them, right? Like you would with some sunglasses. Open ear audio, app enabled tint adjustment, and four preset tint levels for uh, tint adjustments on the frame. Now they have, they go from, uh, what is it? Like almost, uh, they kind of explained it. They they have a like a rating that goes from, uh, I can't remember. I'll just throw a number out because I don't know exactly what it is. Like 70, which is the darkest, the lightest that they go down to like four, which is the darkest that they go. So the bigger the number, the brighter or clearer they are. And then of course, the, I think the lower the number is, the darker they go. Now, on the sunglasses, before I take them out here, there's four presets. And the four presets you would think would be as bright as they could be, you know, like a quarter of the way through, 75% and 100. But it's not quite, they don't go as dark as they're capable of doing it with the push of a button because they go darker than you're, I guess, legally allowed to have when you're driving a vehicle. So if you just use the buttons, you can't get them to that, the darkest that they can go. That has to be done via the app. So we'll kind of show you that inside. But anyway, this is this is him here. This is him. This is him here. This is them here. Uh, and again, I've been wearing them for the last couple of days and I'm quite, quite a fan of them. Just a nice little gray, gray box. We'll just open that up. Uh, you guys can see here, charge, power on, connect, and look great. Oh yes, um, there's the Ampere app QR code. Now I've already got it downloaded. Um, you do get, welcome to the future of sunglasses. And even this, it's got like a little, feels like a little magnetic. It's, it's very nice, it's very nice, 100%. So you get in here, it looks like your manual. Uh, your free one year warranty and a free $20 gift card. So that's cool. Want a hundred dollars for a selfie? I don't know. Uh, and some other stuff. Plus this is your polarized testing card and, and your manual. So ready, ready to go there. They come with a nice manual, but I'll be completely honest with you. Um, they're not that complicated, so you should have no problems. Uh, it does come, I think this is this is the cloth that came with it, I believe, maybe. I don't even know now. So many cloths and stuff. Yeah, that's a cloth. There's your amp, amp here, right there. But what I love about it is, first off, you get this extra nose pads, just in case over time, because they're not, uh, let's throw it out there. These are not inexpensive. It's not as if you're going to your local store and picking up sunglasses. Kind of compare these with like buying high-end sunglasses and maybe even a little bit more, right? But smart. And here we have our charging cable. So this is our cable for charging. Now you don't wanna lose this as well. My hope is that you can go to Am Ampere's website and uh, buy other charging cables, but it's a USB, USB-C to their weird pin thing, which you see on some smart watches and things like that. But lovely cable, very nice. And that's kind of everything that you get in the box. They get a they get a thumbs up for box design. Now the other thing I like too is this. I love this case because it's like it's sealed. Like your glasses aren't going to come out of it. Yes, but it's one of these 
popped open, right? I like that. So, ready? There they is. There they is. And they really, you can tell, they're kind of smudgy because I, well, I've been wearing them, you know? So, I could use, I could use my, I could use my cloth. Yeah, because it comes with cloth. So let's just, let's just get those all, all nice, nice as they can be. Now, I don't know, I, th I think they also may come with mirrored ones that you can get. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, you can see here, this is, this is like your little charging area that you would slap this on here for charging. Okay, there are two buttons. There's a button on this side and a button on this side. Where am I here? Right, right there. Uh, one of them is going to like uh, power it on and go into Bluetooth and things like that. And the other side is actually what you're going to use for uh, changing the tint on your sunglasses. So, ready? Now you can see these are. I got my light there. These are these are fairly fairly clear. And if you take them off, they got a little bit of a tint to them for sure. But before we do anything fancy, I think it's this side. If I click and hold, now you tap. Is that, did I do it right? Yeah, there it goes. See, down one, click again, down more, click again, super dark, and then back to bright. Isn't that just some kind of weird magic? I don't even understand it, but I don't need to understand. And again, this darkness, which is actually pretty dark, is not its full darkness. You can go darker. Oh, I wish I could have like an animated GIF for the thumbnail. How cool would that be? Right? Okay, so anyways, you can do that all from the glasses. Now, I do have my phone here. You guys can see my phone. And if I click and hold this side, they turn on. And as far as I know, they should come up at the bottom here. There they are at the bottom. See them? Dusk. So click. They've stopped dinging. They're up. Ling, ling, ling. You make a sound, which is cool. Now, if I go into music here, as far as I know, I should be able to go into my, into my, I can't see, because I'd like them to be a little bit, a little bit brighter. Actually, that's not too bad. Playlist, and I'll go into my, because I have to find copyright free, because you can't, you guys can't, right, be listening to it. Ready? Now, of course, this is going to have all kinds of, kinds of sound leakage, right? Because it's just playing, but listen. That's, that's pretty cool. And remember we did some earphones behind like a couple of weeks ago that were like air conductive. It's, I would say that this is kind of, this may even have better sound than those. Cause I don't even know where the speakers are. I have no idea, but they're there. And then I can be like, no, I need it to be darker. Right? So you gotta hold for like three seconds and then, where is it? There it is. Three seconds, I think. And then they kind of go, there they are. Boom, boom, boom. And this, maybe, if I tap on it, pauses, double click, next song, play. And they actually sound decent. They're not like, they don't have much low end and things like that. But if you're just walking around going for a walk and you're like, oh, I forgot my earbuds. These will make do, they'll make do for sure. And then pause, sweet deal. And then last but not least, you can open up the Ampere uh, where is it here? Again, I got to kind of pop these up like this to see. Uh, I think it's on this side, maybe. Yeah, there it is. So, cool, got it. Okay, so we got we got the app open here. And I've actually removed them just so we could add it. So you'll see add, add a device right here. Right, we're just going to hit the add. Just a moment. There they are. Because it found it via, uh, I was set up for Bluetooth before. It's Greg's, is that right? Greg's. Greg's desk. Yep, we'll just add that. That sounds lovely. Go to home screen. Excellent. Now, if you click on here, you should be able to slide this and you'll see them darken, right? Boom, boom, boom. And now the other thing too is you can take these up to full darkness to get as dark as you want. Now, the other thing you'll notice here too is that there is a little car up there. So if you tap that on, uh, now, even if you push it, like uh, it won't, you can't drag it. You just can't drag it all the way. It only allows you to go to that, that, that limit, right? You can also say, go right to this or go right to there. Now, if I have the car off at the top and I tap that, right back, 
forward, she'll go all the way. Um, you can also have your own presets. So if you're someone that says, no, let's, I, this is, this right here, oh, it's perfect. And you're like, I love it. You can say add a preset. You can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it test for now, right? Done, save, and you got a preset. So if you were down here and you wanted to go to your preset, you could just tap it and it would it would go to your preset and you'd be you'd be super happy super happy right all right no that's these are these are super cool uh I, i've used the app a little bit but honestly i use the arm probably the most and i do think that the music part is is actually really cool so again i can just kind of come in here and just three seconds you'll see it kind of snap into a color i think it is boom right and then you can fire through them dusk now, if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, like I said, you can go and get the Dusk Lights. I'll leave links to below if you guys are at all interested in these, because I do think, you know what, super stylish. They kind of have a like a Oakley Ray-Ban-y kind of look. I don't know. This is like a matte black, so I'm not 100% sure what the different colors are. But I do believe, I think I saw it on one of their little videos, that you can get these in either a tinted like this or a tinted with mirror lens. So... Links down below if you guys are interested. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Uh, and, and let me know in the comments below if you think uh, something like this is, is cool or if you're like, no, no, I just use sunglasses. For me, what I'm most excited for is having something like this. And I don't know, uh, it is something that I think I'm going to reach out to them because I don't know what they're like for any kind of like, sh like impact resistance um, because I would love to wear these on a motorcycle. And... Um, because, you know, a lot of times it's sunny and it, as the day gets longer or, or it just gets darker or the opposite, you leave early in the morning, you could start with them nice, nice like this. And then as it gets sunnier, you could change the tint on them and vice versa. But if they're not really impact resistant at to a, at least to a point so that, you know, if something a rock hits you in the, in, in the eye, I'd like to make sure that these weren't going to shatter. So maybe something I reach out and ask them. Um, but We'll, 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 we'll answer that in the comment below. All right, guys, um, these are coming to Disney with me for sure on our trip right away. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.